What's up guys? My name, as you know, is Cody. It is Tuesday, December 4th at about 425 in the morning. I am up this late, this early, this whatever you want to say, getting ready for my voice and movement final, which is in a few hours. Um, and I'm practicing a couple of the performance pieces we may have to do. Uh, one of them is a British dialect piece. The other is a Shakespearean sonnet. I've chosen Shakespeare's sonnet number 29. The British dialect piece is from an old BBC broadcast done by John Snaggy, a longtime BBC commentator and broadcaster. And so uh, we're going to get right into that, and I'm going to share with you these performance pieces in case you're interested, in case you want to know maybe what goes on in acting classes or, or the stuff we do on a daily basis. Um, before we get into that, though, I just want to let you guys know that a movie I shot with some local actors and talent and uh, uh, production company, local director, um, is going to be opening on December 17th. That is Monday, two weeks from yesterday. It will be opening at the Malco Theater in Van Buren. It'll be at 7 p.m., and I believe tickets are going to be $5.00. Um, they're $5 right now. I know for sure that may change. I don't know. That may just be advanced prices. But if you would like to get advanced tickets, you can leave a comment. <coughs> Pardon me. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can uh, catch me on Facebook, Twitter. And I will uh, I'll get you some tickets for $5. Um... I'm a little choky, a little chokied up, a little sniffly. Um, everybody seems to be, hey, it must be this change in the weather, but you may catch me sipping on some water or coughing a little bit. <coughs> I apologize for that. Maybe gross, fat guy coughing everywhere. People don't care for that. Almost dropping his water bottle all over his computer. That's not good either. But uh, without further ado, we've already wasted 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Rather, I have already wasted 2 minutes and 20 seconds of your old precious time. So we're going to get right into those performance pieces, um, should you guys be interested. Should you not be interested, you've probably already clicked away from this video. If you haven't, thank you for staying. Let's start off with William Shakespeare's Sonnet Number 29. Go ahead and try to get all the bodily functions over before we start. <clears throat> <clears throat> when in disgrace with fortune and men's eyes, I all alone beweep my outcast state, and trouble deaf heaven with my bootless cries, and look upon myself and curse my fate, wishing me like to one more rich with hope, Featured like him, like him with friends possessed, Desiring this man's art and that man's scope, With what I most enjoy, contented least. When in these thoughts myself almost despising, Happily I think on thee, and then my state. Like to a lark, at break of day arising from sullen earth, Sings hymns, at heaven's gate. For thy sweet love remembered such wealth brings, That then I scorn to change my state with kings. That to me was Shakespeare talking to God. Um, it may not have been. It may have been him talking to a lover. When I do the piece, I'm totally talking to the big guy. Um, God has been the only constant in my life. Jesus has been the only person who's been with me through addiction and drugs and all this other stuff. And I don't want to turn this into a preachy fest, but um, I just want you guys to know that. And I want him to know that I give him all the praise for everything, my talent, um, everything I've ever done, every show I've ever done, the ability to stand up out of a wheelchair. It's an amazing thing. And so that sonnet means a lot to me in that because... In some of the times when I've been down in the darkest depths that I have seen of my heart and my mind and my soul, he's pulled me back out. 
and helped me to find life again and, and helped me to do this amazing thing where I feel like I can tell stories and I feel like I can make differences in people's lives. And, and that's really what it's about. It's almost like it's my ministry. I know I do a lot of secular stuff, but even the things I do that are secular, I hope they have a message and that they can help people. And I'm not one of those people who's like, well, if it doesn't have the label Christian slapped on it, I ain't gonna do it. Or if I have to say the fuck word or something like that, then I am not gonna do this mess. No, if I feel like, like the last show we did, it was kind of controversial, I guess, but it had some good meaning behind it. The men of the cities have taken off their togas and gone home. We aren't doing anything to help the neurotics, to help those who need us. The society is horrible. You know, and the storm's coming. The storm's coming. It's going to shake it up and change it. Such a beautiful play, hidden by all of this dark comedy and everything, but if you watch the play and keep at it with an open mind, you will glean from it so much beauty. And that play was written in 99, and the storm did come, didn't it? And it's changed us all. Maybe for the worst, maybe for the best, but maybe there's even more to come. Who knows? Anyway, there's my preachiness for the day. Uh, next up, we have the British dialect piece that comes from um, John Snaggy, a longtime BBC commentator. Um, it was done around um, a time when a lot of stuff was happening. I think this was done about World War II. Um, I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please, if you... Like, I've seen this whole speech online somewhere, and you know exactly where it comes from. It sounds to me like a World War II era thing. But, um, I don't know if that's the case. If it's different, I would love to know, though. I really, really would. Because I love this piece, and I think this man had so much passion, and so much love for his country and his country's allies. And, uh, I think it's something that's lost a lot on modern newscasters. Um, I don't think... I don't think they're actually allowed to have opinions anymore, but this guy, this guy was so opinionated and awesome. And, um, maybe, you know, a lot of people didn't agree with his opinions, but whether they did or not, he was so convicted in his opinions and, and so just, just solid. So, uh, anyway, without further ado, I hope I do some justice to the amazing Mr. John Snaggy and, um, because he had a really, really awesome high-end British accent. And I hope that my very, very southern self, very, very southern American self can pull this off. But we'll see. So here goes. After all the facts have been gathered and brought together year by year, it will be absolutely necessary to go over all of them in the most thorough manner, as it were. Otherwise, it will not be possible for any or all of us to come to any satisfactory conclusion. A war of one sort or another has been going on for years. Perhaps we, that is to say all of us in America and England, and the rest of Europe as well, don't like the idea at all, but there it is. One power seems very intent upon the overthrow of another government by diplomacy, and if not by diplomacy, than by brutal force. Everywhere one goes, the first demand seems to be for an out-and-out -out support of current ideas. Normal activities are everywhere imposed upon. I dare say that not a single opportunity is overlooked. See, I messed that part up. It is, I dare say... That no, I dare say that every opportunity is carefully looked over. Let's just start that one over again. Hey guys, I'm not perfect. I just hope I don't screw this up tomorrow if I have to do it. Actually, I hope I just get to do my Shakespeare. Anyway, this is raw practice you guys are getting to see right here. So let's do this. After all the facts have been gathered and brought together year by year, it will be absolutely necessary to go over all of them in the most thorough manner, as it were. Otherwise, it will not be possible for any or all of us 
to come to any satisfactory conclusion. A war of one sort or another has been going on for years. Perhaps we, that is to say all of us in America and England, and the rest of Europe as well, don't like the idea at all, but that it is. One power seems very intent upon the overthrow of another government by diplomacy, and if not by diplomacy, then by brutal force. Everywhere one goes, the first demand seems to be for an out-and-out -out support of current ideas. Normal activities are everywhere imposed upon. I dare say that every opportunity is carefully looked over so that not a single chance will be missed. Oh, if only things could be as they were. There we go. Those are my shots. Tell me what you think. This video is already way too, way too stinking long. And uh, I'm honestly too tired to edit it. I'm going to go straight to the sleeper. Uh, probably while this video is still uploading. So please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know how I did. If I sucked, if I was decent, if I was good, if I weren't good. If you saw the big funk and you liked it. Um, I'm going to be doing a live blog TV broadcast uh, later on, uh, probably later on tomorrow maybe. Uh, if you guys might be interested in that, just answering some questions about what it feels like to be in a show that completely destroyed my brain. Uh, John Patrick Shanley's way of writing and um, some of the, th the things we did for this show were just really, really different. If you've never done surrealist work, especially if you've never done a surrealist dark comedy, it's completely different than anything else you've ever done. It's like learning to act all over again. But it was a blast. And um, if you guys would like to know how that goes, or what it feels like to be on the eve of your first movie premiere, walking down even though it's just a local little Northwest Arkansas red carpet, still walking down your first red carpet, what that feels like. Maybe you can ask me some questions face to face. And uh, maybe we can get you some tickets. Maybe you can come ask me some questions actually face to face. Shake my hand. Um, maybe you could come talk to some of the other actors from the show. Um, maybe I'll try to get a live broadcast together with a few of us. So yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, as I have already said. And always, always remember the most important thing I ever say in my videos. Jesus loves you, and so do I.